30 and it wins Cape Ford's very fast indeed. Move on quickly, we have to absorb that a bit later. It's the last event live today, the Cape Ford men, 500 metres, which is now clearly an Olympic event. Yeah, this is a great race. This is all about the superstars event. You've got all the big names in all different boats around here. You've got multiple medalists from every boat. You've got the Slovak, um, Slovakian boat there and the Russian boat here, all with um, Posture Guy in the front there, obviously gold medalist at London. 2012 in the K2-200. Moving on there to the Belarusian boat, the front, front pair in there. Also K2 silver medalist at the uh, K2-200 in London. A lot of power there being generated. And the French boat doing well at a few of the World Cup. Maxi Beaumont obviously racing earlier. Um, multiple medalists in that one. Juve de Cochemont also had some good outings with Etienne Hubert. And we did have Spain. This boat. They have some speed here. Look at this. They really do have some fast merchants here. Toro, Volt. Took this, well, Marcus Volt yesterday took the gold in the K2500. Yeah, no, great race by them. Led from the front. For Germany as well. This is got Leipzig. Took the K1000 yesterday. Serbian boat as well. You also got good, big, fast names in there. Well, they keep switching around. Yeah, they've got. They've just got such a good, strong men's team. The they can just afford to do that. Czech boat. This is love by the home crowd. Havel in the front stroke in there. They had a great K2. The Spicer yesterday in the K2000 taking the bronze. And finally, Lithuania I'm able to put some sprinters on the water again. Yeah, no, these, these will be the fast starters. So on the form, we, we don't have any team dominating. Germany looked good on the first outing, which is exceptional. But uh, apart from that, it's uh, it's fairly open. Spain Spain looked good in the semi. They, they sort of eased up about half about 200 to go, I'd say. Germany as well. Be tight between those two. We can't afford to give too much away in the first 250 in this race. It's so tight. Great start by everyone there. Germany in the black tip, pink boat off to a fast start, and also later predicted that the way in the bottom are really flying apart. That running around's got the rail high enough. They're going to try and do the first acceleration phase, and they're going to want to settle, but they're not going to want to settle for a while. But Carlos Garotti for is a fast sprinter in the K. In the K1, he's absolutely flying. So it's Spain from Germany have taken out a huge lead. Yeah, no, that, those two have really dominated the middle. Spain's really hit the right up there, just kept the run up. They're going to have to settle, and they're probably just getting out. We're already halfway through the race, and Spain have a distinct advantage from Germany. At the top of the picture, you can see the boats from Slackia, Russia, and Belarus in there but with 200 meters to go it is very much the case of we have a meter lead from Spain ahead of Germany at the bottom of the picture Lithuania is still in it it's so close like Spain holding on they've got the lead the Germany are coming back they're responding you've got Benjamin in the front trying to rip that brakes up and you can see they're pulling through the power the unison there coming into the last few meters and Germany as you can see have taken a lead Looks Germany like with the Class team in this, and Germany are going to take the victory from Spain. What a fine performance, as I would say, from the Czech Republic for the medal. Czech's going to be happy there. Germany just dominated there, and they raced the line perfectly, didn't it? Fast start in Spanish, take them away. Check with the pace, and finished brilliantly. Spain will be happy. I couldn't quite see the offer, was it Czech? Look how the Czechs came home, they now were eight Look at that, Leibischer, Rao, Rinschmidt, and Lempe. Lempe had a few healthy in the week, they really come through. The Spanish absolutely flew off the start, which is normal because they have three sprinters in there. They've got some powerful guys in that thing. They've also, you know, lots of these pounds with a pedigree. You've got them. It looks like the Czechs are taking the medal. I think they're going to be very happy with that. Australia have taken a couple of goals today. Belarus earlier in the weekend. So the medals have really been spread across. And we had a lot of big names coming through when it mattered. Yeah, no, I think Czechs really lived up to it. They say, like, you get the few 
most of the boys from the Czech team, and, they, and they've won their goals today, so they've, they've really played up to the, uh, the hype, really. And it's always good when you see that, it really you know, builds on what you think's going to happen. Very happy that Czech, by the way, coming from lane eight. Well, it's been a festival, hasn't it, really, for the Czech public, like you said, with the two victories and the bronze. Yeah, no, like I say, I don't know if they'd have gone into that race thinking they'd get a bronze. Um, they've, they've, they've really they've put in the crowd, so they've just roared them on, and they've just come through that last 100 metres, really played on it. A lot of people swimming after the celebration, I always do like that. One, one, seventeen, seven, three, four. that's are. staggeringly fast. Germany take the gold, Spain take the silver, and Czech Republic take the bronze. And that must be, a, I, I can't think, that must be a world record. It's definitely, um, fast. Not very fast, <laughs> 170.